Willem, welcome to Eureka. Now, can you give us a little bit of a background behind your special laptop for the blind? Uh, yes, this was an idea that uh, originated a long time ago and what the big idea was behind it is that um, a blind person can use a portable talking computer which uh, should be able to speak the local languages in South Africa um, and that should not cost too much and um, that was basically where it started and I knew that using open source software and as far as possible mainstream hardware components we can make something that uh, meets those criteria. Can you explain how the laptop actually works? Okay, in short, the, it speaks, it's got a standard keyboard, it's, um, the, the whole idea is it's one unit, packed with the basic kind of features that a laptop has, except that uh, it's got a full keyboard, so you don't have to struggle with funny keys all cramped up and stuff. Um, and it doesn't have a screen because blind people don't use a screen. Now this is for blind people, not for partially sighted people, uh, that, that we did this device. And then the main way that it works is one uses either the arrow keys and here which menu option you're using, you're going to use, or you could actually press the first key of the description. So if you are in your menu and you quickly want to get to email, you can press E and you'll hear email or if you press E again you'll hear uh, for example e extract f from a zip archive whatever the, extra, the next option is with E or you any letter I mean if you press P you'll get uh, play a daisy book now daisy is a special format for producing books for uh, what they call print disabled people which can include blind people and dyslexics and people like that so yeah, you, you navigate this thing with arrows and then you press enter and the whole thing speaks to you, asking you questions as far as possible. According to my research, you had to develop both the hardware and the software. Um, how challenging was this? Uh, there were some aspects very challenging. Um, I had, for example, to build a custom Linux kernel for this, but as things have uh, progressed, uh, much of those things became easier lately. and. In terms of the hardware, there was a few challenges. As I said, we wanted to use mainstream hardware components so that one could have local support on the device and um, to get the right match of mainstream components without too much customization of this product uh, was a bit of a challenge. And in terms of the uh, battery charging circuits, for example, together with some of these other things. It was not always easy. Um, so the first prototype, for example, didn't, uh, wasn't able to actually be charged yet. That's, that's the kind of uh, challenges we have. Another big challenge was to get a good sound, um, a sound card or sound device in, in, in the unit because this device doesn't have a screen the output is speech and if the output is speech it's as important as a screen is to another person and therefore you also need to be able to do audio recording while this thing can still speak and to find components which together with the software actually give the uh, desired uh, performance in that respect was a bit tricky and then simply the recording quality as well. That's, that's also another hardware challenge that, that we faced. Have any organizations taken interest in your design to date? We have been struggling uh, in, in, in really making a lot of progress to get, to get uh, kind of business involved with this and to partner with us to actually get this thing out. There was huge interest from the customer base. We had demonstrations. There was also an independent market study done which proved what uh, I was kind of saying from the beginning that yes there's a big market for this at a certain price uh, category. And um, so there's all, all these preliminaries been done but we haven't actually, I cannot tell the people to go and order it. There were some of the people that, that felt it and, and used it and wanted to buy the prototype right there 
at, at the demonstration place or something. They were so impressed with what they saw. Willem, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.